Hello everyone, I'm Southern Star 71. I'm a bit tired tonight, if I'm honest with you, and it's Friday, June 23rd, 2023. The LCS has just wrapped up week two, day three, and I'm going to recap the games for you. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up. You can leave comments and ask questions down below. And do sub to the channel. We're trying to make 500 with plenty of watch hours to get a join button. Also, if you do sub, ring the bell for notifications so you get notified when a video goes live on the channel. Now, on to the games. The first and third games are the ones to be excited about. Today's action will conclude week two of six weeks. Each week being a super week. They play Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We should have a clear idea of which teams are good and which teams aren't. I will have a wrap up Saturday afternoon detailing how the LCS looks after six games. This video, like I said, is a recap of week two, day three of the summer split. The first game was TSM versus GG. Both teams were three and two. The winner of this game will be tied for third with the loser of the Team Liquid Evil Geniuses game played later today. GG should win, but TSM has played much better than expected. Insanity continues to play at mid lane for TSM, and he's played really well thus far. Turtle's also been really good, and Hotzer pretty much has not been an issue in the top lane. The first blood went to Boogie as he killed River early 201 as TSM invaded the GG red buff. The first dragon to GG 554 killed, however, our 301 for TSM. The first herald went to GG 1008 kills remain for TSM 5 to 1, 5 to 2, 5 to 2. They're playing well, but they're not contesting neutrals. The first brick does fall in the ball lane for TSM. The 14 minute mark, dragons are even at one. TSM has the only turret. They lead in kills 5 to 2 and have a goal lead of 2.4k. GG, however, is coming back into the game. But Turtle will be dangerous in any fight he is involved in. The Baron is up. Dragon will spawn in 20. TSM moves to Soul Point. But GG get the Baron. Turtle kills two, but 6A goes off and gives a pit to kill. The fight ends up 5 to 4, so only 6A is alive. Kills are now 10 to 10. 6A kills Boogie. GG is up two turrets now and take the dragon. TSM is still on soul point. Early game was all TSM. Mid game started in favor of TSM. But GG now are in the lead. And if they play like they can, they will win this game. Baron in one, Dragon in three. Baron give it to GG for free since River caught insanity in the top lane, I believe it was. Ace to three gives GG the win. They are on a four game win streak now. TSM still better than everyone thought. GG are back on track, the final kill score. 17-13. The second game of the day, Immortals were 2-3, 100 Thieves were 1-4. I wrote, this game should have been both teams at 2-4. Not much to see here unless Immortals should get the win here. This will be the third game for Quid, and he's looked better each game he's played. He gets to face Belulu this game. He needs to show out and one after T D to win. First blood goes to Balulu though after a long gas chase out of Quid. We are almost eight minutes in. The first herald goes to the Immortals. The first dragon to one hundred thieves nine twelve. The four team in the mark, no turrets are down. Kills are even at one. One hundred T have the only dragon, but the Immortals have the goal lead, which is one point six K. First brick in the bot lane to Immortals with 15 18, and I'm going to crack my neck now. Okay. Immortals kill three when 100T was trying to engage 4v4, 
No double lift should have been no fight for Wonder T. The Baron is up. Dragon is in want. 100 T then gets the Dragon to go up 3 to 1 on Dragon. I have T does I have the skill and advantage, in my opinion. Baron is still up. There's another Dragon in 3. It would be so point for 100 T. 100 T rush the Baron. They kill 3. But they do lose Quid to a super mega death rocket. This game is super close. 100T then get the Kim Texel. They are winning a game they should have lost. The game does still hang in the balance though. Neither team is playing great, but both teams really need to win. 100T don't want to be 1 to 5, and Immortals doesn't want to lose 4 in a row. Whoever loses this game, also, we'll have a winless week. 100T ace to one and win the game. IMT with a winless week. Both teams are now two and four. The final kill score was 10 to six. So not a very bloody game. I'm going to get your quarter before game three. We do have Team Liquid at 4 and 1 versus EG at 4 and 1. This game is for second place. Both teams have lost to Dignity Calls. It's a very important game for both teams. Judges said TL was super overrated. So he kind of has to put up or he'll have to shut up. And for JoJo, that's not something he wants to do. He has been playing very well. We will see which team is for real, Team Liquid or Equal Geniuses. The first blood to Team Liquid, as there was a melee fight that saw Pioshi get killed credit as Arbeo dies. The first Herald to Team Liquid 840. First Dragon goes to EG 931. 14 minute mark, no turrets are down. Team Liquid have the only kill. EG have the only Dragon and the gold lead which is 1k. The first brick to EG in mid lane with the help of the second herald 1610. Three kills for EG. Team Link would not win any early game like they have been. TL get a dragon. A kill and a turret. EG start Baron. They turned and ace TL cleanly. They go back on the Baron and easily get it. Summit then dies as TL evens the dragons at 2. EG get the mid and hip. Baron in 2, dragon in 3. EG looks to be the stronger team. EG gets the bot in hip and 2 kills as Summit had died earlier. EG take the Baron and they catch Core JJ. EG go 3 to 2 on dragons. They retake the mid and hip. But TL holds EG. Summit then kills Armeo. The bot in him is back. EG still hugely favored. Baron in one, Dragon 33 seconds after. EG is on soul point. EG get the Baron. Yawn and Core die. Two of the hips fall. Revenge dies, but EG wins. 18 to 5 is the final kill score. EG moved to 5 and 1. TL dropped to 4 and 2. Assuming C9 win to move to 6 and 0, EG is solo second place with Team Liquid and GG tied for third, fourth at 4 and 2. The fourth game, we have FlyQuest at 0 and 5. Dignity Toss 2 and 3. I wrote, Will Fly go winless two weeks in a row? Will Dig even the record at 3 and 3? It's a big game for both teams. The first blood to FlyQuest as Vulcan gets kill credit on Tomo while Diamond was not in lane. Pause. First Dragon, Dignitas 731. First Herald to Dignitas 818. First Prick, Dignitas 1336. But they trail in kills 5 to 1. 14 minute mark, the kills stay 5 to 1 for FlyQuest. Dig has both dragons, the only turret, and they lead the gold by 167. 
Diggly Toss, then get an ace after Diamond is killed. So they were down four to five, but they got the ace. Dig also gets their third dragon. Why might I have thrown this game? Baron spawns. Soul Point is at 23.16. Diamond once again donates his life. Fly go on Baron, but lose the fight 3 to 1. Dig then gets the Baron. Rich gets picked, and Fly takes the dragon to keep Dig from the Mountain Soul. Dig then won a fight 3 to 1 and push top, killing the remaining two members of Fly to get the win. Dig moves to 3 and 3. FlyQuest drops to a wood six. FlyQuest is winless through two weeks. Dig has three wins, which matches what they had all of Spring's split. The final kill score, 14 to 10. And if you remember, it was 5 to 1, which means it ended up 13 to 5 over the last part of the game. The last game of the day, Cloud9, 5 and 0, Energy, 1 and 4. C9 needs to win to stay solo first place. Energy should have improved their bot lane with FBI Ignore taking over for Luger and Boom, but with a 1 and 4 record, it's not shown. If C9 wins like they should, they'll go 6 and 0. Oh. Energy would drop to 1 and 5. The first dragon went to C9, 630. First blood to contracts as he finishes off Fudge. 740. The first hero to C9. Fight goes 1 to 1. Eminem sneaks in, gets the eye, but without flash, he dies in a 2v1. First brick in mid lane to C9, 1339. 14 minute mark. C9 has the only turret and both dragons. But energy leads and kills 7 to 3 and have the goal lead of 423. Energy take a top lane fight 2 to 1. Palafox is very dangerous. Baron is up. Dragon in 3 minutes after that. Energy went for Baron, but they pulled off when a blue trinket was used by C9. Energy goes back on the Baron and stay after C9 uses another blue trinket. They do get the Baron. Dogla dies 3v1. FBI then gets a triple. The other two C9 players die. Labra dies again. If Energy doesn't throw, they are going to win. This would be an EG and C9 would be tied for first at 5 and 1. Dragon take for Energy, even them at 2. Baron in 2, Dragon in 4. Energy are up 15 and 5 in kills. Turrets are 8 to 3 for Energy. Energy get the Baron. They get into the fight with C9, win that fight, ace to three. So they defeat C9. The final kill score, 20 to eight. Energy moves to two and four. C9 drops to five and one into a tie with EG for first place. And this will conclude the recap. I will have a wrap up of the week Saturday afternoon. So. Watch this video when it goes live, and then the, re the wrap up will be Saturday afternoon. Next week, we may just go with just a wrap up of week three on Saturday, and uh, the LEC wrap up will, of course, be on Tuesday. Now, that's the current plan that could change. We may stick with these daily recaps since we still watch the games, but could just do the wrap ups. We'll see how it goes. I do thank you for watching. Be sure to thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Take care, everyone. Have yourself a great day. Goodbye.